fact that the F-150 has the highest towing and hauling capacities in the class. The F-150 also offers several powerful engine choices, many of which deliver above average fuel economy. Additionally, this Ford is agile, at least, by truck standards. Inside, you'll find a reasonably nice cabin and plenty of available features, including many driver assistance options. The number of bed features make your life easier while hauling cargo, and features like trailer backup assist help you expertly maneuver anything you might be towing. The 60,000 to 90,000 people who buy one every month can't all be wrong, can they? As mentioned above, the F-150 is a great truck, and there aren't many reasons to pass this for buy. If you want to comparison shop, however, some full-size trucks measure up well. The 2018 Ford F-150 is part of a generation that began with the 2015 model year. It's been refreshed for 2018, with updated power trains and styling, but there haven't been wholesale changes since its 2015 redesign. As a result, this review uses applicable research and data from the 2015 through 2018 model years. The F-150S base engine is a 290 horsepower V6 that's perfectly adequate. However, Ford offers two turbocharged V6 has known as EcoBoost engines in Ford's parlance that get comparable fuel economy but deliver more power and better acceleration. The larger EcoBoost engine, the 375 horsepower option, is also the best engine for towing. There's a 395 horsepower V8 that delivers a great engine sound, but the most powerful engine in the lineup belongs to the Raptor. It features a 450 horsepower turbocharged V6. The F-150 offers four-wheel drive, and it's a capable off-roader. It's even better with the available off-road package, which adds the locking rear differential and an off-road tune suspension. Off-roading is also where the F-150 Raptor shines. It has plenty of power, and it adds features like e-lock wheels to improve its ability to handle any terrain. The F-150 seats three to six people, depending on which cab you choose, the front seats provide a good driving position, and both rows when applicable have plenty of space for even tall adults to ride comfortably. The seats are also supported, so you won't tire out on long drives. Super Cab and Super Crew models have to full sets of latch car seat connectors. The lower anchors are easy to find and use. The tether anchors aren't so easy to find, and there's other hardware that could be confused with the anchor points. That's typical of what you see in pickup trucks. However, there are three available bed lengths with the F-150, 5.5 foot, 6.5 foot, and A foot. The best choice depends on your needs, though you should note that not all beds are offered with every cabin style. There are plenty of available bed features, including an integrated tailgate step, in-bed LED lights, and a system of movable tie-downs. There's also a good amount of small item storage in the cabin. The F-150 doesn't have any notable infotainment features that come standard, but it offers a twin-panel moonroof, satellite radio, the 10-speaker bank and Olufsen audio system, the WIFI hotspot sync connect Mickey, and two infotainment systems. The better of the two is Sync 3 with enhanced voice recognition, an 8-inch touchscreen, navigation, and three eyes free. The Sync 3 infotainment system provides a responsive touchscreen and easy-to-understand menu layouts. There are also several connectivity features such as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and, new for 2018, the WIFI hotspot that lets you connect up to 10 devices. The 2018 Ford F-150 has not yet been crash-tested by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. It hasn't been fully tested by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration either though it did receive 4 out of 5 stars in the NHISS rollover test. There is no shortage of F-150 trims, more than half a dozen in all, but you'll first need to decide which cab style, bed length, and engine you want, because not every trim is available in every configuration. If you're just buying a work truck and don't want to spend too much, stick with the XL and XLT trims. If you want a luxurious but capable ride, the King Ranch, Platinum, and Limited trims are good choices. If you want an off-road beast, the Raptor is the clear choice. For many buyers, the Laria is an excellent, well-rounded choice. It's available with all three bed lengths, two different cabs, 
and three different engines. And it comes with a respectable assortment of features 